Hello there and welcome back again everyone. Abaddon's plans have been foiled yet again and I'm ready to finish up this turn here. And what is it? We have two worlds conveniently set up that are very valuable to me so I think I'm going to go to them. Unless there's, let's see, this is spaceport for that's so that's for repairs. We got a lot here and of course we got a, what is this? Is this a penal world? Yeah, that's a penal world so I have no choice but to deal with that. Oh god. It's an assassination attempt. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared, ladies and gentlemen, about having to take part in this mission. Because more than likely I'm going to get screwed over if I don't, like, go all out there. And even what hinders me even more is the fact that the Imperium fleet's supposed to be the slowest of the four factions currently in the game. So I'm hindered even more by that fact because I'm going to have a lot less time assuming I even get to a ship to kill it. Assuming I cannot stop the first warp jump. But, this is the most valuable world to me and I need to try and stop it. So, what is my best ways to do that? Really, as many opportunities to board as possible. It really comes down to that. So, I think I'm going to go with the Overlord strategy here. Or at least just fill out this fleet. So we'll have two space marines with the extra teleportariums. They're going to be insanely efficient. Here's hoping at stopping the warp attempt. And we got a crap ton of torpedoes in the overlord as well to both detect it if it somehow hides itself and to just give that additional firepower. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Oh god, I'm defender. Never mind. This is different altogether. Nonetheless, this is a very potent fleet regardless. And the overlord, again, it's probably pretty, it's pretty capable what it's about what needs to be done, especially with two Dauntlesses to shield transfer, and a taunt as well. So I was thinking it was more the attacker. It's kind of weird how I assume assassinations are always going to be me trying to attack the Chaos Leader rather than me defending myself. It seems so contradictory when you think about the fact I'm trying to save a world that's being harassed, right? It doesn't make a lot of sense, but apparently that's what we're doing. So let's get started, shall we? I'm going to stay in the core there. I do not want to go on the other side, because that has an asteroid field, apparently, and I do not want that. So, Dauntlesses, set, set yourself up. I just got to... Okay, Mark II, perfect. Just want to make sure I had it nice and consistent. Because my Mark Ones are going to be support, obviously. Hell Although, without tanking the R, I could get away with them being the front, and... Seriously? Why am I seeing only three ships? I'm not liking this. Activating tactical cogitators. We do have a battle cruiser right off the Under bat, way. though. So the question becomes, do I torpedo this thing immediately or not? Because it's already boosting, actually, so... Maybe I wait until the stasis bomb goes yes, off, so... If I can just cripple this thing heavily, then I'll be fine. There. So let's get in position. Yep, I'm already detected. Understood. It's not like that matters too much because otherwise it could have already bombed my Admiral ship. So that's not a concern, quite frankly. So Stasis Bomb is set, and that's actually the Admiral ship. So I need to be mindful of that. Lock on. We're going to destroy some weaponry. I don't care about if it gets away or not. This cursed thing decided to. What am, I, what am I trying to think of here? Actually, it's gone. It's running silent, so I need to fix this. Fix this quickly, otherwise this. Uh, otherwise, my uh, lock-ons are going to be pretty useless. Now, Dauntlesses, begin your torpedo runs. We got another frigate. Okay, so I was, I was concerned there was not very much. Overlord, can you get the hit in that I want? Not with the Dauntless in the way. Come on, a little bit. Come on, a little bit further. Dauntless, you are in a very bad spot, I gotta say. Hopefully this makes up for it. Turret destroyed. Nice. Torpedoes are gonna reliably hit. Okay, three of them hit. Only one fire, unfortunately, because that only has 50 armor. So I guess the odds are in my... I guess the odds are to be expected. 
And now, boost shields. Let's boost us some shields. Get this overlord back up and running. Actually, with only one battleship, I don't... Battle cruiser, I don't need to, like, devil boost just yet. Let me just hit this thing some more. Torpedoes are about to come back up. Everyone, hard turn. We're gonna tail this thing. We're gonna tail this thing and destroy it before the rest of the posse shows up. Don't ask me how they uh, stasis bomb themselves. That confuses me. Because it sure as hell wasn't for me having only one uh, stasis bomb to even work with. So that's amusing. Torpedoes are firing. Please hit the mine. That would be a, that would be the best thing ever if you could hit those mines. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna pray to the emperor that they're stupid enough to do it. Oh wait. Wait a minute. What's going on? How come this thing just took a plasma bomb? Did I auto cast it? Uh, maybe it auto cast. Because I know for a fact I did not pl just plasma bomb that chaos ship, so what the hell just happened? I'm a little bit confused, if I were to be honest. Nonetheless, one of the main ships is gone. I might as well warp out my first opportunity. Also, shield transfers. Let's do this. Shield transfer and a taunt to boot. And if I could detect, detect these things, that would be spectacular, because I think I need to. Because, yeah, I'm not going to... I don't have access to my Tarot right now. I may not even have to, like, just warp out. I could just be greedy and just kill everything, huh? Although, really, that's more of a chaos trait, isn't it? Just be straight-up greedy. There. Point blank melt the torpedoes. That was an amazing shot. I happily accept that one. Can I get another torpedo in? Not quite. Not at this angle. Unless my overlord is able to... Okay, as I say it, it can fire its torpedoes. Let's do this again. Since it was bold enough to repair itself. Damn it. That one was not so lucky, unfortunately. Got like five torpedo hits in and did nothing. So we'll just... We'll just warp jump our way in. And correct this mistake. Brace for impact. And, yeah, Stasis Bomb actually is on autocast, that's, but I'm pretty certain the Plasma Bomb's not, so I'm wondering why that is. There are three fires on that battle cruiser. No, it's just a regular cruiser, never mind. Still, it's getting murdered really fast, so it's not long for this world, and Stasis Bomb is on a cruiser. Do I have torpedoes? Yes, I have torpedoes. Am I too close? Probably. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get those torpedoes, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to wait a moment. Let the Overlord do that for me. There. This is not Meltas, these are just straight up torpedoes, and look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, where are you going? We're just having fun right now. Now get rid of your shield so I can deal with you too. Although, I did conveniently put in a stasis bomb, so this could work against me. If it is warping out. Which apparently is not warping out. So... Gonna plasma bomb again. Maybe I did plasma bomb and I'm just forgetting about it. With my 5 mate memory. Oh wait, that's goldfish I'm thinking of. Oh, and speaking of which, we got more stasis bomb. All right, finish this thing off. Oh, there's more ships here. So, I was expecting we were almost done. Clearly not the case, so. Do I have more shield transfers? Yes, I do. Do I have a taunt? Yes, I do. So, let's mitigate a lot of this damage, shall we? Because it looks like my uh, battle cruiser is going to need it a little bit. At least to take out this final one. Once this final cruiser's out of the picture, then I'll be okay. Execute high energy turn. Now, focus your fire on those weaponry. Try and mitigate a lot of that with your lances. Underway. And can I torpedo? Nah, uh, 10 seconds till torpedo. But I can sure as hell torpedo with the Overlord. Resume Goodbye, the good night. Uh, only four hit, but still was a murder. Spectacular four hits, because... How much damage does this do? Wow, 45 damage a pop. 
So maybe all four didn't actually damage it. But it sure as hell did a crap ton of damage. And that cruiser's committing suicide. From the looks of it. It's ready. It's Instead of fleeing, it's just going to kill itself. Because it just ran to a minefield and took 250 points of damage. I think that's how much damage it just took. Let's see if I can finish it off quickly with more torpedoes. Can I aim this properly? Let's see. Temp number one. This angle looks good for this one. Let's see. The first four are going to hit. Ooh, that was... It was... One just barely missed, so those were damn good shots. And none of them got shot down and immediately died. That was like the, probably the fastest cruiser kill I've seen yet. And I were plenty of cruisers I obliterate with Novocans and torpedoes, so... That's saying something. Extra 200 renown, which I have no clue what to spend on, aside for maybe just upgrading my frigates in case I need them, and reconditioning and swapping some upgrades maybe to kind of fine-tune the fleet. Only other thing I could think of. Now, Orar itself is the last one to defend, and this is a pretty critical world. At least it seems like it. Where, yeah, it's a cardinal world, which is for sedi it reduces sedition, which is important. Apparently, there's another sedition. Oh, one of the worlds probably was a cardinal world that got obliterated, so that's probably what that is. And there's a bunch of other traits which I have no clue experience in that, so it's still worth it. On top of being a production world, so can't, ri in all honesty, why not do this mission out of all the other worlds that need saving? I have 600 points. I'm attacking a planetary assault. So, we're going to brute force our way through this. As much as I could just go with the Overlord and the four cruisers again, light cruisers, I think that'd be a little bit overkill. Just a little bit. Hmm. I can take the two Dauntlesses, but I lack Torp... Well, I have the Gothic and the Retribution for Torpedoes, so maybe that's okay. That'll max me out there. I do have the Inquisition, but no beacon, so... Gotta be smart how I do this. And have a look at it. It's pretty simple recoloring, but still. I love the look of this thing. It certainly stands out now. It stands out tremendously well. Let's just hope it was the right choice for something so massive and powerful. Because I'm still wondering maybe if a this Mechanicus or even Inquisition could have potentially been better in the long term. I'm, it's hard to say. Really hard to say, but we're going to spearhead the two beacons and kill anything that gets in my way. Nice, simple strategy. Cannot object to that. And I'm pretty certain with all this utility, with the Gothic and everything able to shield transfer, Retribution is going to wreck them. Setting course. And it's all I see is one ship so far. That's all I really know. It's not saying much, but hopefully there's more to to it than just one ship. I'm willing to assume there is, but let me aim this torpedo properly. I get an extra torpedo on that one, which is something I had not really considered very much. Now, can I get it again? Okay, four torpedoes are going to probably hit... Oh, crap. Uh, as much as I would like all the ships to speed forward, I, my Dauntless was about to go up the tailpipe of the Retribution, which I'm not really worried about the Retribution. I'm more worried about the poor Dauntless. It's gonna get. It's not really gonna fold well for it. Speaking of which, we got mines. We're gonna have to avoid. This is this is simple. I just gotta boost every. Let me boost the Gothic and the the Retribution forward. Now give my Dauntlesses a little more breathing room. Let's see. Torpedoes, wow, they did miraculous damage. If only it was 50 damage instead of 45, that would be able to single-handedly kill the damn thing. And there's the first stasis bomb, so that burns its, burns its charge easily enough. Retribution might get stuck a little bit. And am I not in range to hit that thing? Oh, just barely. Maybe I should have gone into the stasis bomb instead. Oh, these are sedition forces. I completely forgot about that. They're firing Novacans on me. 
Yeah, boy. This is getting awkward. My poor Dauntless is like been just hugging this retribution for the entire match so far. Maybe the formation is a little bit too tight. I need to consider switching that. Now let's kill this beacon. And let's two more for good measure. That, see, that should easily kill that beacon for me. So long as it doesn't shoot them all down. And I have not been paying attention if I get any extra ones as a bonus. Nah, unfortunately one only hit. Alright, so that's not going to hit me with a beacon anymore. Yep, I'm going to have to turn my Dauntless around. And Someone tell me why Sedition Forces have have uh, Inquisition favor trait. This goes beyond logic, if you ask me. Now let's kill this cursed thing. Am I right to assume? Come on. Uh... Tyndall Entertainment, whatever the company's name is, there's a bit of a plot hole in your, uh, in your gaming strategy here. I don't think Seditious Forces are supposed to have favors of the Imperium. I just want to point that out. Especially if one, as noble, is the Inquisition. I just want to put that out there. Nonetheless, we're going to deal with them quickly. Light you on fire in a moment. That was probably too soon. Yeah, a little bit too soon, but it's still on fire. I'm going to melt it in a moment with these torpedoes. Hopefully those hit nicely. There goes half its health in a hurry. It's about to get a broadside side of my cannons there once they start side to recharge. Alright, focus it down, kill it. And... Am I missing a beacon? No, I still have another minute. Okay, for some reason I figured I was missing an objective for this planetary assault. Because I have not forgot what the point of this mission is. Not yet, anyway. We got torpedoes here. Easily dodge that. This is a gothic, so that's not a problem at all, but I know exactly what it's armed with. So, can I hit it with torpedoes for that matter? Ooh, I got a nice broadside for melt of torpedoes at least, so hit it. Melt it. Give me those fires. Ooh, now there's a hit I can get behind. So now, Ken, the Retribution is not going to get much of a shot that I want, so focus your fire on just hitting it normally. Actually, let me lock on for the additional hit chance. Ooh, they're even utilizing the, those beacons, whatever they're called. The ones that you can stick to a single point that I have not been using myself. Not really that big of a deal, but it could be a bit of a nuisance if I'm trying to get this thing to hide and keep itself alive, for example. Which, it's at just outside my booster, so... Let's fix this quickly. And they have a Mars, so... That's probably a good majority of their fleet, then, in that case. Repairs are underway. Retribution is kind of out in an awkward spot. So Retribution kind of needs to get in their face, I think. Because having a hang in the back is not ideal. So, melt this thing some more for me, if you please. There are more fires, I'll happily take that. And if I can hit a plasma bomb and torpedo combo, that'll be that'll be perfect. Now it looks like I'll give me yes, a good sir. hit. It's turning though, so only four are gonna hit, I think. New planetary objective. Okay, we got a new objective up here, so I'm gonna have to turn and confront that. And also, as much as I like to ram, I probably shouldn't, because my Gothic's gonna start taking some damage as well. Shield transfer on the way. They have fighters, so I gotta be careful of that. I have, let's see, supercharged force shield and taunt, so if I want, I can just taunt here. Oh, they're just insubordinating, so. Don't. Come on. No wonder they turn traitor. Once things start getting rough, they decide to run away. Is anyone really shocked? If I could get one more salvo, that'd be great. I don't think I'm gonna get. 
I got the hit, but it was not enough damage. God damn. How unlucky of me. I don't see... Well, I got the kill anyway, still, somehow. I guess it was because the generators were destroyed, I think. Now, is another ship fleeing? I think another ship is abandoning its post. I was not paying attention if it actually was, or it was just a ship I destroyed that was running. Okay, light this thing on fire. Gothic. Oh, Gothic lost his torpedoes. That's a little unfortunate. But we're, we're going to easily have this first objective, I think it's safe to say. Two torpedoes did not do anything there with the melted torpedoes. Gothic still has all his lance batteries, so I'm going to focus on that. In Retribution, you're going to have some fun with this traitor Mars here. It does have fire, so it could still do a bit of a number on you, so got to be careful there. And they also got an Overlord, so they're fielding two battle cruisers right now. Yes, Admiral. And of course it ran silent, so my Dauntlesses are not going to do crap about that. Ship ready. So Dauntlesses, get moving. Get to somewhere where you can be useful. Gothic, what are you doing? I want you to just lance these things. I don't know why you keep turning. There, that's more like it. Thank you. 30, 20 seconds until the next objective, so... Get my Dauntless... Get my Dauntless positioned here. Although, I have don't have much boosters to move forward anyway. And that Mars is getting wrecked. Come on, board it. It didn't cancel the warp, unfortunately. So let's just hope I can kill it with random fire in that case. Nope. It just got the hell out of there so fast. It's a bit astonishing, really. And I think it's really unlikely it can get to that objective. Well, actually, one Dauntless can make it, assuming I am paying attention enough to dodge the three stasis bombs. It's about, well, two stasis bombs that are likely to get in its way. There's a bit of a problem. I gotta save some of those boosters so I can kind of force the turrets or the beacons to use it way at, really far ahead of me like right now. That way I can stop ahead of time so it can recharge while that stasis bomb just wastes its time. Wastes its energy as it were. Now, I have no way to detect the ship but I need, it's in the nebula cloud that's why. No, never mind, that nebula cloud is really small, I take that back. Now, keep moving. I don't think you're going to make it across the map in a minute, but I'm sure as hell going to try. Now, lock on. I have faith in you to define ascension that you're going to be able to take these hits. Also, stasis bomb it. Torpedo it. Let's see if I can get the whole works in. That's turning, so it's probably not going to hit to my liking. More than likely. Well, I got some torpedo hits in, so there's that going for me. Let's see, booster's about to fade, no stasis bomb yet. And 15 seconds, there's no way I can get that. Which is fine, I'm doing good for myself right now. I'm more content to just destroy these ships anyway. It'll give me more renown, and more, well, not really more experience, I like this, I would like to think it gives me more... Okay, I like to think it give me more experience, but clearly I'm left to assume that's not the case. But still, the extra renown is always welcome. Especially when I have three ships about to jump on his ass as it tries to escape. I don't know what's the most effective way to stop this boring attempt though, but thankfully I managed to stop it. Now, if I don't kill with fire, it's going to just burn to death, I think. No, I don't. Dauntless, you are not ramming it. Wait. How was I victorious? Uh, what just happened? I was victorious before I actually destroyed the ship, so I'm wondering what the hell just happened. Maybe the objective didn't uh, go away? Maybe it was a bug? I'm definitely gonna have to pay attention to recording to see what the hell just happened there. Although, to be honest, the victory was assured anyway, so I'm not that concerned. 
Anyway, let's have a quick look at our upgrades there. I know the Gothic at least leveled, so what the hell am I going to do with you, I wonder? Because you got all the main upgrades that are essential. The Tech Priest, the Gunner, the Servitors for the cooldown. So what the hell do I want to give you? Probably Commissar is the only thing I can think of. It makes me kind of regret giving this the Inquisition favor. Oh, I can actually unfit it if I want. If I feel like it can work better. Hmm. Let me hold on to that ID until it's level 10. I might consider that, quite frankly. Because ideally, I want this to be a long-range support, so ratting should not be as a priority, because it's not going to be as exposed to boardings. Assuming I don't go all out, point-blank range with the Gothic as well, like I probably have been doing. And for upgrades... Wow, I have yet to actually give this a uh, generator. That's kind of astonishing, quite frankly. So that will help its uh, ability there. And I could switch out the maneuvering thrusters at some point for the shield capacitors and then give it the, the Foss Power and Void Shields for the damage reduction. And that will be able to be fully upgraded to my liking at level 10, I think. Nothing else upgrade, but since I have it around for it, let me see if I can put this to good use. This Widowmaker is basically the main frigate I've been using, and it serves this role pretty well. Almost to the point I argue it might be overpowered, considering how slow and immobile the Imperium ships tend to be, relying on their like auger sensors to normally detect ships. At least I'm thinking multiplayer sense, to be honest, because it's not. Multiplayer sure as hell isn't going to be like how my custom matches have been, or at least this campaign has been. But nonetheless, I'm going to give it the additional range to its already superior range. And what do I want for the final upgrade? Do I actually give it the burn, was it the short burn torpedoes? That way it can effectively hit something at a distance? I think that's probably what I do, to be honest, rather than having to rely on it. And a little bit closer for a more consistent hit. And that fully upgrades that. Still have plenty of now for maybe what I considered to do to switch out the favor on my Gothic at some point. So if I'm gonna do that, it might be the Adeptus Mechanicus. I will hold on to that idea for now.